Hey, what's up guys? I'm Avalanche Fan 133 and welcome back to my NHL 14 Be a Pro Goalie Mode. This will be the start of the third season. Yeah, third season of my Be a Pro Goalie Mode. My s wait. Is it? No, this will be the fourth. Yeah. I don't know how I got that mixed up. Fourth season third and final with the Dallas Stars, more than likely final, uh, so, well, I'll be a free agent, I'll decide whether or not I'll want to go, stay, or go, or whatever, anyways, um, I'm getting ahead of myself on moving this stuff, uh, my wrap-up video, not thinking clearly, my wrap-up video got uh, screwed up for the second straight time, so I'm having to kind of skip that. I'm just going to include anything new in this video that went on. I did up my glove high as we're going over this for some reason. I wasn't thinking. My rebound control, I think, may have gotten bumped up. I can't remember, but we'll just look over stuff. I do know I went up on agility. And I probably shouldn't have went over that first. Um, new season, this will be game number two on the season against the Minnesota Wild. I, stupidly, I'm not thinking um, the preseason. I should go over that first before anything. Uh, we lost five to three. I only started two games. We only won one out of six games. But I lost 5-3 against the Wild in the first game of the preseason. Had a rough preseason. But it's a preseason, and it's there to work out my stuff. So then we lost 5 4 to Blackhawks. We, our only win was against Winnipeg, and then we lost those two games. And we lost 7 3 to the Blues in the last game, which I started. Uh, so yeah, had a really rough preseason. Taken a few days off, so I don't think there's any injuries. No, Riley Smith is injured after the first game. Whoopee. Um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't remember that. Anyways, just going to go over our lines because a little bit changed. Uh, well, Riley Smith is injured. I saw, oddly enough, he's back to 80 overall instead of staying at... He climbed at 89 in the regular season last season. Anyways, second line, Rich Peverle is now in the left wing. He was the center for the third line, but because... Uh, Riley Smith is out. He moved up to the second line. Uh, Brad Richardson on the third line right wing. He is the only uh, acquisition, I believe, we made. The only signing. And he's pretty much in there to replace Tim Connolly, who retired. Uh, defense is pretty much the same, but very solid. Very solid defensive core. I wish we had one or two guys who were, you know, clear shot number one guys who were like 90 overall, but... I'm not complaining too much. If our guys can stay healthy, I think I'll have a great season and our team will have a great season, make the playoffs and everything. As... Let's go up here again. Back to me. Uh, just want to... Did I click on the right thing? Yes. Okay. I changed up my pads. I just want to show that off really quick. I got some sweet Vaughn pads with blocker glove and the stick. And that's about it. I just want to kind of change things up for a new year and kind of got a little old with the same stuff. If I find a design I really like, I'll stick with it, but it really isn't anything that I really love. Uh, season expectations. So pretty much the same this year. Uh, the goals against average did go down a hair. I don't know why that keeps going down. Uh, I will look at last year's, my expectations that I hit and missed. Uh, the save percentage I did get a B on, I don't know why, because 87 and 91 aren't really close. Nothing for the goals against average, I can understand that. 44 games I started, so I got an A plus for the games played, that's very good. Never got a shutout. Got pretty close a few times, but... I think a few times. At least once I got close. And then 17 wins. That's a new career high for me. Uh, well, in the NHL at least. 
So I got uh, 110 points for that. So it helped me a little, didn't help a lot, but I'm hoping for a lot better of a season. And uh, that, I think, about does it. We'll just go into the play game and I'll talk about anything else that happened. Uh, the San Jose Sharks won the Stanley Cup. They beat the Toronto Maple Leafs in five games. Uh, I really wish I could have gotten that. Um, I had it all planned out. I was going to get that uh, season wrap-up video out on Wednesday, which this is now going to be Wednesday or a day or two late. So apologize for that. But I was going to get that out on Wednesday and then do an uh, episode, a game, maybe on the weekend or next Wednesday. I was thinking about the weekend. Maybe I'll get one out this weekend, this time. I don't know. Um, San Jose Sharks won the Stanley Cup. Uh, I believe Marion Hosa retired and Pavel Datsuk. Those were the two big names that retired. Can't remember. I remember Vancouver having a huge list of players that retired. Can't remember any of the names, but I was just amazed by how many players retired on their team. And we had Tim Connolly retire from us. That's the only player that retired on our team. Uh, on the awards, I can't remember too much. Goligoski won one of the awards. I want to say it was the Lady Bing or something. Um, the big surprise was uh, Rick DiPietro won the Vesna. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how you know it's a video game. He won the Vesna. I could not believe it. That's just crazy. I don't even think he's in the NHL anymore. I think maybe he might be in the AHL club for the Islanders, but my assuming he would almost just not be playing. But I don't know. I have no clue. I don't follow the Islanders or anything like that. Uh, our only scratch is Joe Morrow. Hopefully he'll be pretty good for the season. I should have went over the AHL squad just to see who kind of progressed, but... I think Connaughton might be like 74 overall. I can't remember exactly. And then Klingberg, another defender, made his debut last season. Hi was like uh, 70 Welcome overall. You. Also changed my number to number game. one. American I'm a Dallas little more Center. familiar Dallas, with Texas. that. Uh, and I, I'm just and trying to change things up to kind of Dallas think uh, this is a brand new season. Just get yeah, the my mind busy. on the I mean, new season and everything. Ooh, got a cross for that one. As, oh, thank you, Trevor Daly, for that interception. Already an early save. I'm hoping badly this will be a much better season. At least a better season. I, I don't care a whole lot. I've accepted how this game plays. But as long as I keep getting better, I have that in the glove, okay. As long as I keep getting better, I won't complain too much. But I believe the Wild, yeah, we just, <laughs> last episode, just played them. And they ended our playoff hopes, though San Jose won also, so. Or was it San Jose? Yeah, they won the Cup. Wow. But, yeah, they won, and even if we had beat Minnesota, we wouldn't have made it. So pretty much the loss to the Avs kind of damaged our host hopes the most. And just, we got to play better at the beginning of the season. We got to get higher in the standings instead of just trying to squeeze in there at the end. But I'm just, I always love brand new seasons. And that was exciting, trying to get the, uh, trying to get into the playoffs there at the end. But I, I love trying to, they're offside again, trying to fight for a playoff spot. But we got to kind of make it more, make it easier on ourselves. So far, still scoreless. Uh, here comes, I think, Chasen. Oh, Lowy Erickson with the great chance and hit the post. Wow, some great chances there on Nilstrop. I don't even know how good, how high overall his, that goalie is. 
Not familiar with him at all. I assume he came up out through their uh, AHL affiliate. That's almost turned over, but Chasing comes back to get it. I really think if our defense stays more healthy this year, I could have a really good season. I wish we could get a little more depth on the defense. That would be really nice. But, you know, we got Morrow and... Oh, nice faked the shot the there. The Morrow and Connaughton. Pretty good. And that puck will cross the That's line. icing. We'll he did not cross that uh, red line. Kind of nice to see Brad Richardson. He, I think, came up with the Avs. And I want to say he was... Oh, that was close. He was traded to the Kings, but I'm not sure... But I do remember him mostly from the Avs. Then he was with the Kings. and I don't know if he played for anybody else. I can't remember. Oh, Setaguchi got around him. Oh, that was some good movement to stop that. And that got through my pad. Almost could have went in, but kind of redirected it. Moving well. Uh, anticipating the play well so far early in this game. Whew. I... I really want some more shots, but not that many great chances. It's nice to get a bunch of shots that get you into a groove, but it, once you allow that first goal, your confidence drops uh, a little bit at least. Oh, he did not move off that post, but a miss. I let go of that post way earlier than that. I don't know why my goalie just froze. Alex Goligoski needs to get that away from the net. Good pass to Erickson. Be looking for another solid season from Erickson. I don't know. Oh, oh, Jamie Ben takes a penalty on probably a boarding call. And he'll have to answer. But I don't know what Erickson ended with on point totals. He had 20-something goals, and I think 20-something assists, but I don't really know for sure. Should have looked at that. Oh, I can, uh, I can look at his player card, and Ben wins the fight. Player card and see what he got last season sometime. I know Jamie Ben led us in points, and probably goals and assists. He was definitely the big guy out there. He's already, uh... Dallas took a penalty, but had, to, I believe, our first fight of the season. Numbers, At least first really fight with me and Net. Oh, oh, oh. robbing Parise there. Very dangerous player. Suter, back to Parise. Back to Suter, but that pass is just too hot to handle. That's dumped in. Louis Eriks, and just kind of... Still don't know whether it's Louis or Louis. I hear the announcer call him Louie, so I don't know. Glove save on Suter there. And we'll get a face-off with 110 left in the power play, 634 left in the period. Looks like Peverley on the face-off. I do love his face-off percentage, but ooh, threw two bodies. But he did lose it there. Oh, I slid way over, but it was not corralled in time for a shot. Pad save. Nobody in front, so I was able to get out pretty far. Larson. Good. Larson sends that down. Been a good penalty kill. I mean, at least for me, my team hasn't cleared it a lot. Right on. Just going to hang on. And we'll get the face off. See, this is what I like. Early shots that don't go in that I can stop. It gets me into a groove and sets me up better for later on. Definitely helps the team. Ooh, another save. And we'll hang on again with four seconds left on the power play. My team hasn't won many... Uh, Face-offs, it looks though, like. Or at least not many important I mean, ones. Another win. Oh, deflected, but kind of just... I guess deflected off Heatley. Oh, that's wide. Oh! 
I did not hold that post because I thought it was going to stay behind the net. May have been I don't know. Wow. I'm surprised that that came back around. I thought my defender was going to get that. So there's me. That's a bad mistake by me assuming Daly was going to get that. Instead, he misses it, and Setaguchi gets a free goal. one nothing Minnesota. I don't know if that came on the power play. I didn't see. But I'm still feeling pretty good. I got to limit those big number periods. The lots of goals. Uh... <laughs> I was thinking about just holding that. But it got free and my guy got it. He was chasing at a look, 20 goal season, I think. I think. I really should have went over the stats from my team. Goligoski. That was deflected by somebody in front and was still saved. Good chance. Trevor Daly over to Goligoski. It would be big to have Daly healthy for a full season, or at least close to a full season this year. Very injury-plagued injury season last year for Daly. That's wide. One of the reasons why I wanted to change up my pads, I kind of wanted some white pads again that just had stripes or something different. I don't know. I was kind of tired of seeing the gold. Emerton just gets decked. But it's gotten out and Larson dumps that in. And Richardson over to Glenny as he rings it off the crossbar and that will end the first period. That would have been close if it had gone in. Whether that had been a goal or would have been a goal. All A pluses, 15 shots against, one save, or one goal, one save. That would have been bad, 14 to nothing. <laughs> uh, we had an 85% uh, passing percentage. That's pretty good, pretty high for my team. But uh, Minnesota was most of the time on attack, and hopefully we can get some offense going here. Second period. Maybe we can uh, take the lead in this period. Oh! Surprised me a bit. Off my gloves. I really wish my goalie would start catching more of those, but I do know I need to get my glove high up a little more overall. Uh, Ben's fighting for it. He got it. And I don't know if that hit the goalie or not. Here comes Minnesota. Skating around. Glove save. I don't mind those kind of shots, especially with nobody in front. Oh, Ben just missed getting that in the slot. Parise, he's becoming an enemy of mine. Good defense. I don't get to say that a whole lot, but that's partially because I don't recognize the good defensive plays sometimes. And I'm thankful for them. I'm starting to recognize them a little more. Alex Chasen holding on to that puck. Pass to Larson in a great glove save by Nilstrop. And he'll hang on. 15-36 in the second left. Emerton lost that face off. At least I think that's Emerton. It is, and he just got crushed, and that knocks the net loose. He's shaking that head. <laughs> uh, he's on the face off again. He wins it. Glenny with a good shot. Glenny, I think, is on the third line currently. I don't know if he'll stay on the fourth like last year if we get uh, Riley Smith back. But he should be moving up lines steadily each year. and It's a pretty high draft pick, I think. Alexiak, good defensive play. Him and Sanganetti, two of my favorite defenders. Here's Brad Richardson. Pass across, got deflected. Ooh, slapper on by Dylan, but that got de uh, deflected or blocked. This is some good uh, work in the offensive zone. 
his offensive end to the point. Pass to Goligoski, shot on, deflected, and saved. Hmm. Getting the opportunities, but not able to score. Oh boy, he had me beat. And he rang it off the post. It's too far to my left, and he just rang it right off that post. Whew. Close one there. I don't get many uh, breaks like that, but I'm glad for it there. Heatley moving in. Good pick off by Goligoski, but he does miss chasing with the pass. That won't go enough for icing. Heatley over to Brodine. Into Setaguchi, but he's offside. More than halfway through the game. Oh, that'll go all the way back into their zone. It isn't. He made a great save. Still one nothing Minnesota. My team ain't getting any offense. Or not getting anything in the net. I mean, we're getting offense. Pominville with a shot that gets deflected wide. Ben. Ben. Over to Larson. Back to Ben. Jamie Ben. Into the offensive zone. Good shot, but blocker to side. Chasen has it. He's getting pinned. And Ben out in front. Good save. And Chasen knocks a net loose. Looked like without even getting shoved or anything. Faceoff still in their zone, though. Cody Eakin on the draw. He will win it. Goligoski has it. Shot gets blocked. So the corner with Eakin is getting pinned. Minnesota has possession, and they lose it in center ice. Goligoski will throw it back in deep. Eakin in, beat two guys, and Beverly couldn't get a shot, and Eakin misses it on the backhand. Shoot. Good pressure, good forecheck. Here's Beverly, back to Goligoski. Shot on saved. Eakin unable to deflect that. Looked like he was holding his stick out to try to. Chipchura, Minnesota will finally dump it into our end. But they're going for a line change, so no forecheck really. But Heatley steals that on a great hit. And Setaguchi now it's the post. Whew. Glove save. Going to hang on. Whew, I've had two great breaks pretty much. We talk about how close you can get, Bill. This Set a Gucci. This might be the replay. As long as it's a solid hit. Just hit the post. I wasn't ready for that pass. My goalie reacted too slow, too. Four minutes remaining. Second period of action. Four eighteen left in the second. Face off in our end. Lost to Minnesota. Sanganetti loses that to Parise. Parise will pass it to Spurgeon, and he'll shoot it and deflect it into the corner, and we're able to move it out, pass to Erickson, and he's offside. Phew. See, I want more games like this. one nothing. Oh, wow, that comes all the way back here. It's one nothing. Uh, I do want my team to get on the board, but I'm happy with my performance so far. I'm happy with my team's performance, too. They've been very good. Alex Chasen into the offensive zone. Pass back up. Oh, good slapper on by Ben. But another save. Milstrop having quite a night. They're just passing back and forth. The Stahlberg got it poked away by, I think that's Sanganetti. Not sure, though. Pass to the point. Lots of people in front. My goalie found it with the left pad. That is Sanganetti. He'll send it around for Larson. Larson will send it all the way up the wing to Richardson. Richardson skates around and dumps it in deep for Emerton. Cody Emerton. Or Corey Emerton. Corey, right? I can't remember. Richardson has it running out of time in the second. Lost it to Minnesota, and that will end the second period. Second period is over. Real Been a good game so here. far. One nothing. Just happy I'm not allowing a ton of goals. One, so one goal off of 20 one shots one so far. We have nothing off of 17, but we have 508 on time on attack. Ooh, Minnesota greatly out hitting us. We need to get more physical. 
And Minnesota still with the only power play opportunity. And they're leading in faceoffs 13 to 5. Wow. We gotta start winning more faceoffs. Part of that, I can guess, is because we don't have Peverly on that second line, who's our best faceoff man. Ben is not good at faceoffs at all. Parise will get pinned by Goligoski. Daly will steal that. Pass up to Chasen. He'll try to pass through to Erickson, but that got defended away. So Miko Koivu will get pinned right at the entrance to our zone and lose it. Jamie Ben skating in. Oh, they got deflected in. Chasen puts that in for our first goal. That initial shot almost snuck in. Ben and Erickson on the assist. Yeah, that almost trickled right in. Great just like hand-eye by Nilstrop to find that. It got like deflected, I think, off a defender's leg, the initial shot. And it just trickled in the crease and Jason found it for the first goal of the game for us. Good defense there. Daly's pass up to Peverley. He'll enter the zone with some room, got bumped off. Here's Setaguchi. He's got plenty of room to enter and I will glove that and hang on. Plenty of room, but just a big slapper, no threat of the pass or anything, so I was able to move right to the top of my crease and save that. Should be an exciting end to this game. Oligoski got bumped off. See, what are they going to do? Shot on, deflected. Ooh, followed that. Made numbers of, a number of saves. There is a penalty on us. I wish my goalie could have grabbed that because of how slow that was moving. And the net gets knocked off somehow. Another power play for Minnesota. I believe that said 0 for 1 on the... Uh, wow, that's a bad penalty by Chasen. I believe they were 0 for 1, so... Yeah, 7 shots. Jeez. We gotta start clearing it more often. That gets blocked, and Larson got sent to the ice, but Peverley's able to get that out. Need a good penalty kill here. Zach Parise out there. Very talented player. He'll skate in, lost the puck. Ooh, Koi was trying to get out there alone with it, but couldn't. Whew. I'll hang on and get another face-off in our zone. It's 118 left. Looks like Emerton on the face-off. He lost that. Pass behind. Setaguchi and Granlin playing catch with it. That misses everybody and is sent out. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I want my first win on my first game, but now we've taken another penalty. Five on three for 48 seconds, and Erickson's out of there. What did he do? Now, well, he is gone with this game misconduct. I, I can't charging? This, so I yeah, game misconduct for charging. I don't see how that gets a game misconduct, but oh, that hurts. Wow, 78.3% on the faceoffs for Minnesota. Save. Hang on. We're going to have a lot of whistles during this portion of the video of the game. Because. Hey, 41 seconds left in the... Okay. Played out in the power play, I was saying. Still got the five on three. I'd really like that to get out of there. Parise. Skates back. Got getting screened a lot, but he missed the net. Might have had me beat there. Peverley was getting hounded, but still cleared it. Good play. Four-minute power play to kill here. Peverley with another chance. 
and Sanguinetti gets the shorthanded goal. Wow. His first. Shot taken and a goal scored. That's Sanguinetti. Peverley almost had like two or three goals all alone in front. We get our first shorthanded goal of the year on our second game of the year. So if we can kill this power play, we'll have the lead. Somebody was just sent to the ice down there. It's Granlund back up, but Emerton picked that off. And that went off the glass and out. Luckily, it hit the glass. Minnesota, yeah, definitely with a lot of chances. Rang two off the post. And they have 328 left on the power play. Already 10 shots on two. Minnesota's offense goes to work. Spurgeon over. Deflected on. Didn't know where that was. Koivu back to the point. Oh, I'm, I went way too far out there, but deflected wide. Spurgeon don't know where that is, and Koivu had it. All tied up. I was unable to get over in time. I should have tried to grab that. I'm hesitant at times to try to snag it. But I just wish there was some way of telling whether that puck was right in front of you or out further. Because your goalie blocks the camera. If they could fix something like that, that would be great for next uh, NHL title. So it's still on the power play thanks to the game misconduct. It will not end. Stick save. Clear it out again. I think we'll be able to kill off the rest. Big hit by Ben, I think. Yeah. He'll steal that. Send it in deeper. There are about two minutes left on the power play. Jason Pominville, former Buffalo Saber, will skate right in. Oh, good chance there, but... He missed high, Parise. Fight for it in the corner. It to the blue line. A shot from the point Sent on, blocker save. That's a blocker save. Ooh, made the save. Got out pretty far for that one. I'd rather be aggressive. Oh, he missed it. Man, they have missed a lot of chances. This is some pressure here. Pass to the point. Hit his own man. Larson has it. Will clear it. Wow, surviving that pressure. That is huge. 35 seconds on the power play. Gets around him. Ooh, was ready for that pass. But he missed it. And that's cleared again. That might kill it off. It's going to kill most of it off. Setaguchi will enter the zone with them running out of power play time. Easy save. Big rebound. Pass across. Kologoski will skate that out. Now we can finally get some offense, maybe. It's Peverley. Ooh, good save. 2 2 game. Both teams scored on that last power play. Pretty crazy. Offensively did about everything he wanted to on this play. 716 left. I've faced 34 shots. Shoot. I've really enjoyed this game. These are the kind of games that keep me playing this. Because if I just had more games like this, I would love this game. Good slapper on. Pad save. Pushing it along the boards. In behind the net, sends it around. Oh boy. Ooh, made the save. Just stood my ground on Antropov. Whew. This is coming up to be probably a pretty long game. Probably a pretty long video, thanks to me having to talk about the changes. Oh, that's poked away. I was moving a little 
bad there. So he might have had a chance. Ben's able to get that. Come on, guys. I've done my part. We just need to get one goal. And I think we can win this. Peverley has it. He'll skate around, try to stuff it, but denied. It's Danny Heatley. Very dangerous player. They have some dangerous guys on this Minnesota Wild team. Oh! Okay, that's a face-off. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was a goal. I goalie covered it, and it was a quick whistle. And then it was in the net. <laughs> okay, so we have control. Oh, I thought there was a penalty on them. Almost jumped. <laughs> Staley with it. Shot on pinball everywhere. But did not land on net. Suter sends it around to Pominville. Finds it all the way back to Pominville and over to Koivu again. He'll skate in behind. Kolakoski will steal that. And he'll skate it out. We could be heading to overtime. But every time I think that, somebody scores a late goal. I really hope it isn't Minnesota at this point. That's dumped in deep. Daly in to get it, but he missed it. Setaguchi has it. Oh, he missed the net. I think I was in pretty good position. That's turned over. Oh, made two saves. I was ready for the shot. That's why, if you play a goalie, you got to follow the puck, even though your team has it. Turnovers happen way too often. Made the save if, who was that, Heatley? Yeah, if Heatley had corralled that right there, he would have had a goal. But it bounced a lot on him, and I was able to get in position. Need this face off. Lost it. Pominville shot on save. Ben's fighting Koivu back there. Koivu won it, but I made the save on the wraparound. Oh, that's a big rebound, but Sanganetti finds it. Shoo. I'm having quite a night here. And Chasing got drilled, but lost it again. Comes to Minnesota again. Oh, Sanganetti stole that in the slot. One last chance. Peverley needs to shoot it. Save. No opportunity for the rebound. And we will go to overtime. Maybe a shootout. All A pluses. 41 shots. That means 39 saves. That is ridiculous. No, no. <laughs> Got my kitty cat in here. Just lay down. <laughs> oh, man. Overtime. So if I don't give up a goal here in overtime, I will have a little lower uh, goals against average. We only have 24 shots. So hopefully we can score and score overtime, early. Well, I just want to win. That's all. I don't care when it exactly happens. A shootout almost wouldn't be terrible. I don't think I've had an episode with a shootout in it on NHL 14, but I could be wrong. It's Jamie Ben out with it. He'll dump it in as was offside for half a second. Spurgeon lost that. Ben will pin Koivu, and Peverley has it. Peverley in behind the net. Peverley skating to the corner, back to the point. Goligoski throws it on. Ben with the rebound chance, but got saved. Both of them denied. It's Parise. Nice move, but denied by Goligoski with the check, and Daly stole it. Jamie Ben back out. Pass to Daly. Daly's pass back. Got deflected. I think this is Ryan Suter over to Pominville. Pominville's pass got deflected, and Daly will get it. Daly up to Ben. Back to Goligoski. Missed the mark. Goligoski kept control despite getting hit. He'll skate all the way into the offensive end. Lost the puck. Emerton now has it. Pass across to Larson with a good drive, but 
save and nobody there for the rebound. Already running out of time here in overtime. Seems like it just started and there's only 120 left. Two to two. I am worried about how long I'm going in this video because it's going to be a long one. It's Alexiak. He'll skate in and slap it on. And that's covered by Nilstrop. 111 left. We could use a face-off. We've only won 10 out of 34 in this game. Eakin lost it to Koivu. Mm. Those face-offs are very important. Here's Zach Parise. He'll skate around. Over to Suter. Got pinballed around. And that's knocked off. It looks like from a Minnesota player. So I'm going to be upset if that's in our zone. It is not good. Under a minute here in overtime. Scandella got decked and got that over to Parise, though. Parise lost that. It's Brad Richardson, our new acquisition. Can he send us home happy? Oh, he tried to set up Ben in front, but unable to. 37.6 seconds. Eakin again on the faceoff. We have all the shots here in the period. Eakin won it. Sanganetti with a slapper and he ends it. His second goal of the night. Sanganetti wins it. What a slapper. See it again. Just slapped it right top shelf. I love seeing that water bottle go flying. So Sanganetti's probably going to be the second star. I can imagine who's going to be first. <laughs> I at least better be a star. I don't really care. We had all the shots in the overtime to steal this game pretty much. I kind of, yeah, I feel like I stole that game. With all the shots against. I'll take it either way. It's a win. And, yep, first star, 95.1 save percentage. A great start to the season with Sanganetti's two goals. And Chasen had the third or one of the th three. 21 shots in that third period only allowed one goal. It didn't allow any in the second, only five shots, and 15 shots in the first and allowed one goal. Big, big night for me. Great game. Just awesome game. That's, I think, one of the best episodes. One of the best recorded games I've ever had. That was very enjoyable. 100, 121, and 103 on the experience. That's definitely going to help. If I could just put up games like that more often, my goalie will be like 90 overall in no time. No new milestones. I check that after every game, but Minnesota starts 0-1-1. Man, after losing 5 of 6 in the preseason, we've won our first two of the regular season. That's great. Okay, you had an outstanding performance in goal tonight. How much of the credit do you have to give to the guys playing in front of you? I wouldn't say all of it. Um... I feel like my game was amazing tonight. I was seeing everything. No puck had a chance of beating me. The guys in front of me got a good show. Uh, let's go A. Uh, they had a couple of big shot blocks, which really made the difference. Thanks, boys. So I got two on teammate. My teammate's up to 71. I don't know if anything will happen if I get that to 100 or... What? <laughs> I know I can't. I don't think this game has it to where I could be the captain. I know goalies have been captains. I'll be facing Minnesota again. Like Roberto Luongo, I think, was captain of Vancouver there for a while. But, man, he just got traded to Florida. Man, that is one wreck in Vancouver. Uh, you're in net tonight against the Minnesota Wild again. <laughs> How do you plan to stop their scorers? I think I was asked the same question before last game. Hmm. 
They always have to be aware of their top scores. I'm not too worried. It'll be a team effort. Or I have to stand on my head like always. Hmm. Let's go with I'm not too worried. I'm just going to say heck with it. I'm going to get my fan up to 51. I don't know why my management is so low. My family's low because I rarely get any family questions. So my next game will be against Minnesota. Then I'll be benched for LA and then face the Oilers. I don't know when my next recorded episode will be. Hopefully, when I am recording it, I'll be happy that I'm starting the season. Or, yeah, the season off well. Oh, I have anything to choose from. I am really considering break away but no I'm not gonna do that I think I'm gonna go stick high keep the high even though maybe I get my glove high and maybe my goalie will stop just fumbling the puck I don't know yeah heck with it I'm gonna go with 84 on the glove high and now I'm 79 overall Got a point in this, too. I've been considering getting poke check, but I prefer to wait on that until I get these really high. Let's see. Shot recovery or rebound control? I think I've got to do shot recovery now. I'll just do that. My rebound control is 94. But I'm still giving up some huge rebounds, which sucks. Um, do I go with aggressiveness again or try something else? Yeah, I'm going to go with aggressiveness. I don't know if it matters if it does anything but I feel like yeah one way to find out just keep bumping it up maybe it improves my goalies play when I be more aggressive that's my hunch but we'll keep that for now and decide on what I want next we'll look at the season expectations because I got a plus a plus <laughs> and then e -E -E. <laughs> already a great start but that can change I gotta be solid in I gotta concentrate well throughout every game, every shot, every shift, every second. You've gotta just let's check the injury report on Riley Smith. November 9th, he will be back. When is that? We're in October, so not too far off. Yeah, not too po yeah, not too far off. Oh, I wonder if I would be in the goaltending leaders. Nope. <laughs> Nothing really to look at there. What about Central Division? Yeah, we're leading the Central now. We were actually leading the Central, I think, for a little while at the beginning of last season, if I remember correctly. We had a great start and then just fell apart for, like, three weeks. I don't know. Anyways, not much to look at since it's so early. Um, I'm going to try to get an episode out on the weekend but I don't know if I will be able to and that might hinder me getting an episode out for the Wednesday schedule I don't know this also might be late I don't know I'm rambling again anyways guys sorry about the long episode but you know over time and having to explain everything that went on without the season wrap up that kind of just added up everything Anyways, time to end it. I'm Avalanche Fan 133. No, oh, I didn't even say my thing. <laughs> well, if you guys like the video, please like, comment, and or subscribe. And I'm Avalanche Fan 133, and I will talk to you guys later.